Software is grabbing the world. There are so many things that now include software. Let's take a look at this car at the background. This car doesn't have all the fancy features that the current cars have. And all this is down to the software that has been added to the cars of today. That's not only in cars, it's in banks, it's in government where everything is, is controlled by software. So software is of growing importance. Streams of refugees leave the stricken towns and villages. More than 50,000 have already been evacuated to safe areas. Behind them, they leave their homes and farms to the mercy of the waters. I live in a, a province called Sealand, where the sea has historically been very dominant and uh, taking uh, up a lot of land. And there's a lot of dikes there, and those dikes are controlled by systems. And the systems are currently monitored by Software Improvement Group. So now I know for sure that the build quality is of high quality and that gives us and people living there, of course, a lot of assurance. We at the Software Improvement Group stand for creating a healthier digital world. We do this by looking at the people, the processes and the technology and help companies to assess and certify the quality of these. Software has become a key strategic differentiator for companies. So that means they need visibility in the risks and opportunities hidden in the source code and the architecture. Our secret platform illuminates these and also provides actionable advice to focus on what really matters. It continuously measures and monitors the quality of enterprise software in terms of architecture, maintainability, security and productivity. The central aim of software is, of course, to enable the business. But if you don't build it in the right way, you will not make that happen. Your business will be at risk because you can't even finish the software, or it's very hard to change, or it gets compromised, or it breaks down on you. We enable our clients to prevent this by making software quality visible as early as possible and provide guidance on how to improve that. An important and difficult part of modern software development is the scaling of verification. You want to look at the software, the source code, the architecture to see if it's done well. Part of it can be automated using tools, but there will always be the need for expertise. We do this by offering collaboration tools in our SIGRID platform and by providing access to a multidisciplinary team of experts that help our client on demand. You can't objectively compare software systems without having a carefully crafted, scrutinized scientific process behind it. And that's why the SIG methodology includes standardized, repeatable measurements of source code based on the ISO standard for software product quality. And that is exactly how we have set up and operate our software analysis laboratory and why the TÜV IT in Germany has accredited us as the only company in the world to do this. SRG has strong academic roots. As of today, we still have a uh, research team that proactively is involved in all kinds of uh, academia, industry, research programs. We also do our own research. Uh, for example, every year we publish our benchmark report based on our software analysis database, on which we give then an update of the global state of software engineering. Für eine Sicherheitslücke bei einem US-Zahlungsdienstleister haben Hacker Schadsoftware in hunderte von Unternehmen eingeschleust. En raison de cet hacking, les caisses d'une chaîne de supermarché en Allemagne n'ont pas pu ouvrir aujourd'hui. Dealing with cybersecurity is getting tougher every year. Organizations want to become more resilient. However, they find it very hard to build security into their software. And that's where we can help. Often I get the question, why should we start continuous monitoring of our applications right now? And my answer is, why not? You only have to gain. The sooner you start with monitoring on software quality, the better, because you only have to gain in the end. It is really important to do this fact-based, to do these analysis based on the core information that you get from the metrics in the, in the data that we enhance through our models and our benchmarks, because that allows us to compare 
companies to companies, uh, systems to systems, and really take away all of the discussion and base ourselves on the facts rather than on opinions.